Okay, so in this video, we're going to talk about angles of elevation and depression. And we're also going to complete one example that is on an angle of elevation. And in the next video, we'll do one example on an angle of depression. Now, when you think of the word elevate or elevation, elevate, it means to go up. So whenever we talk about angles of elevation, you'll notice the angles going up. And when we talk about the word depression, we think of someone who's feeling depressed or feeling down. So when we talk about angles of depression, we're talking about an angle that comes down. So for example, one, which is going to be an angle of elevation, we have a man named Grant and he's flying a kite. Now, there is 50 meters of string between him and the kite and he measured the angle of elevation to be 55 degrees. And they want you to calculate the height of the kite above the ground. Now, <clears throat> you'll notice a couple of dot points that help you solve these. And the first dot point is to focus on the triangle first, to be more specific on the right angle triangle. And then it wants you to focus on solving the problem. So don't get too worried about the problem until you've been able to figure out what the triangle looks like first. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw Grant down here and he's flying a kite. So we've got a, a nice straight string and we in the question it said there's 50 meters of string. So 50 meters of string and here's our kite up here. Alright, it, it says that he measured the angle of elevation to be 55 degrees. So what we're going to do is we're going to draw kind of like a dotted line across here and angles of elevation go up. So this angle is 55 degrees. Let's carry on with the dotted line. Now, like I mentioned, you've got to focus on the triangle first. So we've really got to construct some sort of a right angled triangle like so now in the question now we we've already focused on getting the triangle right now let's try and focus more on the question it says how high is the kite flying above the ground so we're really trying to find the vertical height so we're going to put an x there there's some more details there. It's asking you to round your solution to one decimal place. We'll worry about that at the end. And there's a little note. It says, note, Grant's hand that is holding the string is 1.5 meters above the ground. So this distance here is 1.5 meters. And this will come into play later. Okay. So let's focus on finding X. And we're going to use the techniques we used earlier where you label things. So... This is our hypotenuse. It's opposite the right angle. Um, opposite our 55 degrees is the X. And the adjacent is the side at the bottom. Now, we don't need the adjacent. We just need the opposite and the hypotenuse. So I'm going to write my acronym down, SOCOTOA, like so. And um, I know I've got O and H, so I'm using the first part of my acronym. So what does S stand for? S stands for sine. And next to sine, I write my angle of 55 degrees equals, and then my vinculum bar. After S comes O, then H. O being X, so that goes at the top. H last is 50. That goes at the bottom of the fraction. And remembering when a number is at the bottom of the fraction, you slide it to the front, giving us 50 times sine 55 equals x. Um, so we can figure out x from this. I'm going to bring up the calculator and um, making sure it's deg or d for degrees. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, 50 times sine 55 and we get 40.95. Now we want to give it to one decimal place. And when we round this one to one decimal place, you're actually going to get 41.0. So let's write that down, 41.0, and that's going to be meters. 
that's the length of the vertical height of the triangle. Now, the question is asking you to state how high the kite is flying above the ground. And we need to remember that the triangle actually starts 1.5 meters above the ground already. So we need to take the 41.0 and add the 1.5, giving us 42.5 meters. And, and that is the height of the kite above the ground. And that concludes our video on example one.